Today, I'm going to be giving you the best network settings, particularly Ethernet settings for gaming in 2025. These are going to lower your ping, lower your latency, and increase your internet speed quite a bit. So subscribe, like all that good stuff. Let's just get straight into this. I want to keep this as simple as possible. Sometimes people complain that my videos are way too informative, and then others complain that they're not informative enough. So we just can't please everyone. But I can assure these work and vouch below if they do. But without further ado, what you want to do is type in network. So you can either go into your control panel directly, and then you find network and internet or if you just type in network it should come up view network connections from there let's say you're on the control panel you want to go to network and internet as i mentioned or if you click straight into here you will find two things probably a wireless connection which as you can see i don't use and your ethernet if you don't have an ethernet you want to do this for your wi-fi connection as best you can do so but for the most part i don't think you will have like any of these settings really and there's not really much that you can do so this is very much oriented around ethernet cables but whether you have an ethernet or not and i highly suggest you do because if you don't that's why you have bad ping this will help anyway so double click into your ethernet go to properties first things first under network make sure everything here is turned off so everything is unticked besides qos packet scheduler and internet protocol version 4 or ipv4 or tcp so keep them both ticked press configure go to power management if you can turn these off and then go to advanced this is the most important part we want to basically copy pretty much all these settings here i'll explain some of them some of you will have different settings to me as well so i'll go over them at the end but first of all i'll cover what you can see right here and you will have most of these so alp offload set this to disabled energy efficient ethernet of course this is a power saving mode turn that off flow control disabled idle power down restriction another power saving mode set that to disabled interrupt moderation disabled interrupt moderation rate off ipv4 checksum offload disabled jumbo packet disabled large send offload v2 ipv4 and large send offload v2 ipv6 disabled locally administered address just have the on not present ns offload disabled packet priority in vlan have that set to packet priority enabled speed and duplex have this on the highest option that is full duplex so for me so to clarify 100 megabytes per second is less than 2.5 gigabytes per second or even or even one gigabyte per second so right here the best option for me is 2.5 gigabytes per second on full duplex usually i think it is just the bottom option here but double check tcp check some offload this one right here ipv4 disabled this one below it ipv6 disabled the one below that this is udp check some offload disabled and the ipv uh four and six uh, just all of these disabled okay i don't know why there's so many but yeah they do different things wake on magic packet this is always such an interesting one for me just magic like that's just a someone needs to educate me on what this where they got this from why is it called a magic packet nonetheless disabled wake on magic packet from s5 which means state 5 enabled and wake on pattern match disabled okay and now for some of you that may have had other settings in here that i haven't went over yet near jumbo packet you may have something called jumbo frames i can't demonstrate this but if you do set that to the highest option you may also have something called receive buffers what you want to do is set that to a value such as a thousand and press enter now when you press enter it may tell you that the value is out of range and in that case it will give you a range it will tell you like the valid range is from i don't know 50 to right again this is random uh 700 the highest range it tells you that is valid put that in so again let's say the highest range is 700 change that to 700 and just enter that again and it'll work you may also have something called rsc segment coalescing or uh, coalescing ipv4 and ipv6 similar to the large send offload you know the different two options turn them both to disabled you may also have a setting called transmit buffers this is similar to what we did with jumbo frames so put in a random value like a thousand for example just to be safe and then it will tell you what the valid range is and just have that as the highest value range you may have something in there called vlan id this is separate set that to zero you may also have something called wol and shutdown link speed have that set to the default value and that is everything you shouldn't have any other settings and if you do keep them on the default value now honestly why i'm here i thought additional i may as well just show you the wireless uh my wired wi my wireless advanced settings of course if you were following on anywhere you've probably copied some of the ones that you could but as you can see there's many different options here if you are not using ethernet and i'm sure most of you are if you're watching this video you don't need to listen to this but yes you, i'll go through right here you can copy all of these these worked best for me but i cannot guarantee that they are going to make a huge difference and you know this is something that is very much you know it depends on your wireless internet they will be different besides obviously the ones that i mentioned here you know the obvious ones like these which can be disabled wake on magic packet that they're, they're useless 